Uh, heat stroke usually is brought on by um, physical exertion, usually outside on a hot day. Um, Humidity is probably not that much of a factor, but core temp is usually the basis on the diagnostics required to, to or the symptomology required to diagnose a heat stroke in itself. Uh, it progresses through stages. There's three stages. The ending result would be heat stroke. Uh, the symptomology of heat stroke could be um, dehydration is always a possibility depending on the, the outside ambient temperature factors and, and what's going on. You see a lot with uh, with uh, you know, football and baseball injuries throughout the sports seasons, especially during the hotter times of the year. The best ways to diagnose heat stroke or uh, heat-related emergencies is by core temperature. Uh, core temperature is measured rectally with a rectal thermometer. Uh, 106 at 106 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, disorientation, um, altered mental status, and brain death begins. Uh, at 122, the body is not physically capable of sustaining the normal functions of life, and complete death will occur at 122 degrees. Um, the basic treatment of heat stroke is slow cooling. Uh, you need to make sure that you look out for tremors. Uh, bear in mind also that, that tremors can also cause um, warming of the muscles and the rest of the body and so forth. So slow cooling, uh, get the patient into the ambulance as soon as possible and cool with uh, tepid water, nothing real cold, no ice. Uh, be real careful with ice packs in the certain areas that ice packs may be uh, and that we're trying to prevent tremors and shivering from occurring. Um, disorientation occurs within heat, heat stroke, altered mental status, slurred speech, uh, hypertension and tachycardia are all possible uh, symptoms of heat stroke. Um, the best treatment for heat stroke is like we just talked about, um, just slow cooling, uh, I, intravenous IV fluids, cardiac monitoring, and also be aware that cardiac dysrhythmias and arrhythmias, arrhythmias may occur uh, in the presence of heat stroke uh, involving dehydration as well.